Hey guys, welcome back to Relish Talk. I'm your girl India. Without further ado, let's jump into this video. Alright guys, so I went to Target today. As you can tell by the title, I will be reviewing the whole line uh, Finery, which is a Target brand, I guess now. Or, well, Target is carrying this brand. Um, I just heard about it. I think I've seen it on social media or something like that. And I was like, let me go check and see if it's at my local Target. And the day that I went, they actually didn't have it up. But they were stocking it up that day. So when I left and came back the next day, products were already gone, meaning that they were setting up the day that I asked. So I was really ahead, but still late. But um, I went ahead and purchased the whole entire line. To me, it's worth it. It's like maybe two, I think I spent about 250, 270 or something like that. These uh, fragrances retails for for the body mist, 12.99. For the actual perfume, uh, perfume. <laughs> actual perfume it retails I think for $27.99 um yeah so you do the math but um nonetheless I think it's still good because you're I, I got what six or eight mm -hmm. yeah I got eight for the price of one expensive perfume so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into this we're going to make it quick I'm going to give you my first impressions I did try these out in the store um but I'm, I'll still let you know my my thoughts and impressions and what I think about it and what they are actually duping okay because this house I believe is um replicating designer and fragrances so yeah let's go ahead and get into it if you like these type of videos drop it down in the comments let me know which one you prefer and if you would like to see more videos like this and i also have an honorable mention um that i purchased as well from target and all right let's get into it i'm so excited all right so we're just gonna go ahead and, and start it out now i was gravitating towards more of the gourmand scents y'all know how i am but I decided to get the whole entire line because I felt like every last one of them smelled good. Now, I don't have one with me, but I do have the body mist form. So everything that I have is mostly the fragrances, okay? And this is how they all look. Different color packaging. Okay, different color packaging. And it's so good. And I only have the one body mist, but I'm actually getting the fragrance in tomorrow. I cannot wait to do this video. But this is the one that is on the way. So this is how the body mist looks. It's very sleek. And cute so this is called before the rain i can't remember exactly what this one is duping but whatever it is i'll try to list it up here so let's go ahead and start with this so i the reason that i was going to leave this one but it was like the last one but i was like no i want to get it because it has salt in it so it doesn't have the notes on here but i believe this has like bergamot uh salt and moss i think those are the main notes this actually is good it's more of a aquatic floral like i can remember what I thought about it when I sprayed it on myself. Yeah, when I sprayed it, I thought of aquatic, floral, salty fragrance. That's all I thought. I was like, ooh, I wonder if this will pair really well with Olympia fragrance because, you know, this is a salt vanilla. So I was like, I had to go get it. I couldn't wait until, to get the perfume. So let's see on camera. So this is how the body mist sprays. Yeah, it's... Yeah, the body mist smells just like a body mist. Very light, but it's strong at the same time. But let's see. But it's so good. So it has, you can definitely smell the light aquatic um, freshness that it has in here. And I think that bergamot is giving it that fresh aspect. And then you get that floralness, but it's also pulling a little green, like outdoor green in the summertime, springtime. later you begin to pick more of the moss so i think this is really nice but i really got it because i really wanted to see if it paired really well with this one so let's let's try it oh, it's so good i'm just gonna add this on top of it and i'm gonna see and guys oh my gosh it's so good look i was like i had to order it before people sold out i think it was sold out so I was like, let me grab it for, my, for another location on Target before they all sell out. Everybody and your mom is about to go get these, like for real. And these two are definitely a great combination. So if you have Before the Rainbow um, or whatever dupe this is, pair it with Olympia. You're getting that salty, floral, aquatic, sweet, almost caramelly moss type of fragrance. This is a great combo. Definitely check it out. Move it along. Yes. I cannot wait to wear this in summertime. Ooh. First one is not another cherry. Okay, we all know that this is dupe. Tom Ford Lost Cherry. I don't have Tom Ford Lost Cherry, but I do, I have, do have the dual version of it, which is Pop Cherry. 
which I absolutely adore. I love it so much that I went and got another one and then I have another dupe. I don't feel like getting up, but this is really strong. And that cherry, you get that deep therapy, what is it, amaretto? amaretto. So yeah, but this one right here, it has wild cherry, Turkish rose, and almond amaretto. When I smelled it in the store, I was like, oh my God, this smells amazing. Like, it was, it was really light. Like, I expect, when I smelled this, I automatically thought of Zara's uh, cherry smoothie, which I just really didn't like like that. And then I also thought of hot cherry. This so is I, what I thought Zara's cherry smoothie should have smelled like. It smelled like a little bit of its own fragrance, but yet also smell like the real deal from uh, Tom Ford Lost Cherry. So yeah, if you're into cherry smoothie, but you want a little bit more onto it, that smells very much closer to Tom Ford, then definitely check out Fiery, not another cherry. I love the name. But let's go ahead and i love that they have the notes on the back all right so here we go i just went ahead and opened all of them on camera so it don't take up much time so we're going to quickly go over this so here's the packaging of not another cherries it's so beautiful um this is another dupe to the tom four lost cherry which actually resembles it this is by mason alhambra and this is very really light really light oh, cherry it's so good it's so delicious so glad to have it i thought i thought it was too light but it is really good it's really identical to pop cherry it's just in a lighter form this is more smoky in my opinion more peppery or something this is also great um but let's go and talk see what this smells like i love the packaging like look how gorgeous that is okay nice opaque but still see through Mm, so when you smell this, it is different. It's more like a boozy artificial cherry, but it's really good. It is so good. No, it's not artificial cherry. It's the amaretto. I'm definitely dissecting the amaretto, which gives it more. See, I'm salivating. It's giving it uh, more like a real, no, it's almost like a realistic syrupy cherry. That's what I'm detecting. So I take that back. It's not artificial. It's just that that amaretto is making it really syrupy that is almost realistic so good but in that dry down it definitely changes more to a, a popcornish type of maybe like a vanilla in that aspect of something caramel and deep it's really good and i totally recommend this so if you're into what i just described i'm still salivating but if you're into what i described about this fragrance definitely check out not another cherry. I think it is worth it. It's very affordable. And yeah, the cherry definitely starts to dissipate and fall back in the background. And then more of the popcorn vanilla y amaretto, like the deep syrupy air amaretto sticks out in the forefront. And it's just still delicious and gourmand, but getting different. So definitely check this out. All right, let's move on to the next. So this one. is sweet on the outside. Mm hmm. Um, it smells like Madagascar vanilla, tonka bean, and smoke vetiver. So people actually compare this to Billie Eilish, and at first I didn't see that, but in that dry down, which is this one right here, in that dry down here, it is, it is similar, but I, I don't know, I think it's different as well. Like I, I'm gonna tell you once I spray it. So this is the bottle, and let's spray it. Mm, this is so good. So I feel like I, I detect Tabasco. <laughs> tobacco like when i smell it i immediately go think of this one right here which is rich warm addictive by tom ford it has that tobacco and hay type of so when i spray this i definitely detect that but then it starts changing and it does smell similar to billy Eilish. at first i i was thinking about bonfire bash as well for some reason remind me of that oh these will pair really well together bonfire bash and sweet on the outside will be great together yeah, so this one right here smells a little bit tobacco-y, like the Tom Ford, I mean, not the Tom Ford, the Zara Tabasco, I want to say Tabasco, Tobacco Collection Rich Warm Addictive with that tobacco note, and it also smells like Billie Eilish, but with a hint of this, um, I just, it just give me, it just reminds me of Bonfire Bash for some reason. I'm glad to have it because I love Billie Eilish. I definitely understand why they say it smells like it. I think it's a little bit more smoky. So that's why I think when I uh, talk about Bath and Body Works, Bonfire Bash, it reminds me of this because this is smoky and this is um, vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, and cashmere musk. But 
they call it bonfire bash because it has a smoky aspect. Beautiful together. Definitely check this out. It also will pair really well with Zara Rich Warm Addictive. Okay. The next one is flower bed. Now people say that I think I believe they say this is a due to Chanel Chance Tundra or something. I don't know. I'll post a picture right here. And I have smelled it, but I, I'm not really familiar with how it smells. But I do know that this is gorgeous. I love the packaging. It's a light pink color. It smells like, oh, I didn't even read you the scent experience. So the scent, let me go back real quick. The scent experience on Not Another Cherry is the last decadent bite of an Amaretto soap cherry. Love it. The one for sweet on the outside, the scent experience is a hypnotic and delicious veil of smoky vanilla. Mm, so accurate. This scent experience, it claims to be carefree joy, carefree joy in a field of blooming the flowers. Notes smell like lush peony, green apple, and wild bamboo leaf. So this is typically not a scent that I go for, but I was like, let me just try it out. But when I smelled it, I was blown away. This is the beautiful packaging right here. Look at this. It's a blush pink. Pink is my favorite color, guys. I don't know if you know that. And I'm definitely embracing it more as I get older. I I was kind of like afraid to say that in my 20s because I was like, oh, people want to judge me for, you know, being too girly. It's like a little girl color, but no, I don't care. I love, love pink. And I'm just embracing my femininity again, like I told you. But this bottle is gorgeous and it looks just like how it smells, sweet, feminine, girly and sweet right. guys this is so good and when i smell it it makes me think of this perfume that my husband got me which is midnight in, in dubai if you haven't seen my video i will link it down below definitely check this out very very expensive but very gorgeous people i think someone said that it is a dupe to delina um which i have never put my nose on at all but if this is a dupe to it it is very nice again i wasn't like a big fan i'm not a big fan of flory floral like fresh type of scents but this is gorgeous and I believe I'm starting to because I love this like I feel like I love this more but these two combine so you definitely detect that peony oh my gosh it has that sweetness that I crave oh the green apple that's what I smell so I smell the peony green apple I'm not really certain I guess the wild bamboo leaf is giving it that fresh aspect but it has to be something in here that's sweet like, I don't know if they listed it, but something is making it really syrupy sweet. So this is gorgeous. But this right here, when you add it, you have to detect um, kiwi. Mmm, never mind. This is gorgeous. Oh, my. I only wore this one time. It was only when I did a video. Um, the video that I post is going to be the time that I only wore it. But these two are going to be it now that I'm feeling more feminine. This is going to be that duo. Definitely check it out. It is so worth it. I love this brand. Like... Oh my god they are really outdoing themselves let's move on to the next one okay before i quickly go into the next one guys this will pair really well with it too this is oh i need to put this in my valentine's day this is sexy fresh and floral grown type of woman vibes but this will be great for a uh, valentine's day but this is body ecology pink vanilla wish sparkling pink peonies warm vanilla and almond yes even with the other one, it'll pair good. Yes. Oh my God. It's a vibe. Okay, let me stop. I'm not here for combos today. All right, so the next one that I have, this is Magnetic Candy. The scent experience is a nostalgic escape into a neon candy fantasy. It smells like sugared violet, pink pomelo, and cotton candy. I have no idea what this one is supposed to be duping, but if I find out, I will have that picture right here. But if I don't, it's because I didn't find out. <laughs> But, oh my god, all these colors are gorgeous. This is a very affordable, beautiful brand. They did a great job, and the lasting power is pretty good. This is the bottle to it. Magnetic candy. And let's get into what I think it smells like. I ain't been I haven't been so excited about perfumes like this in a while. Mm. Wow, I see why they call it neon. This is it, it makes me it puts me into summertime, just sitting in the heat vibing like with my family or out on the beach and the wind trying to blow it ain't blowing it's just a beautiful day outside like that's exactly what I think about when I smell this it's fresh and it has that cotton candy sweetness almost like a carnival I almost think about being at a carnival as well this perfume puts you in the reminder of a carnival or at the beach summertime vibes gorgeous wow it's different it doesn't smell cheap at all like none of these do 
I'm so happy. And then it also has a little soapiness about it. So you smell fresh as well. Oh, guys. Oh, my gosh. I'm glad to have this. I don't have anything like this one. Um, I can't think of anything to pair with it. But y'all know I'm going to have a little video for these in the future. So far, none of them are going back. Let's move on to the next one. Now, this one right here is a bit different. Um, I actually smelled the Dossier version to, um, to this one. And I was turned off the other day. It's, it's the Santal de Lavo one, I believe. It's supposed to be like a woody vanilla, but I hate it now. It's, it's great. I'm glad I didn't purchase it because, you know, they sell Dossier at Walmart now. But, yeah, so if you check your local Walmart, you'll have a section with Dossier fragrances. And they sell some of the higher-end ones. I mean, the more popular ones. And that the Santal one was one of them. And I was like, no. But this one is supposed to be similar to it, I believe. But it's called Jungle Santal Eau de Parfum. The scent experience. I'm still salivating from the other one. Mmm. Okay, experience is the lush, the lush and steamy air of exotic, I can't read. The lush and steamy air of an exotic, sultry rainforest. It smells like papyrus wood, Indian cardamom, and black oolong tea. So this is one of those fragrances I definitely would never normally go gravitate towards. Like I said, I smelled the dossier version and I was like, hell no, like that shit is fine. But this one right here. It, although it's not my favorite, it is really good. I don't know how they do it. They make it more appealing um, to the mass audience. And I am one of the mass audience because I like sweetness in my fragrance. Like, you can be woody, you can be fresh, you can be musky powdery, but I need some sweetness in it. And this is one of them. Um, so let's get into it. Oh, ooh. This is pools. This one is definitely unisex. It, uh, ooh, it smells almost oody in my opinion. It's like a fresh oody. I think of uh, being in a forest, you know, somewhere. Yeah, so I, oh yeah, it's woody. The ooh, the papyrus wood is what I'm picking up. I am detecting that oolon tea. Is, it's more of an earthy type of tea. It's an herbal tea. I definitely detect the cardamom and I pretty much smell everything that it has in here. This is probably the least one that I like. But if I want to be different, if I'm going outside to do like a family adventure or maybe hiking or something like that, I think I will wear this one. It's, but it's good. It also has that sweetness in the background. Like it, this one is reminding me of Rockbox for some reason. Like I feel like they would pair really well together. I don't know why. Yeah, because this is a Oud Vanilla, Oud Sugar Vanilla, and this is just woody indian cardamom black oolong tea papyrus wood i'm sorry so they smell they have a similar pro scent profile so if you're into like scents like this definitely check this out but it's still good it's still good like once it dries down the sweetness come in and kind of tames it down some of that ooginess and some of that um oolong tea smell you know Yeah, these two will be great together. It's unisex, so if you're a man and you're into uh, trying out uh, one of their fragrances, definitely try this out. Even women. I'm not just saying it's not for women, but I think it's unisex. And if you have Rob Bob, put this on it. Thank me later. Yeah, that's definitely different. That's really different. I feel like when you put Rob Bob, it turns more masculine. It makes me, well, not masculine. It just makes me think of being in a cigar lounge, puffing on cigars with your homeboys and stuff like that. Very dope, very dope. Let me spray one more time. Yeah, very, ooh, ooh. Yeah, definitely reminds me of being a cigar owner. But yeah, that's that. I think it's nice. Um, But I'm not, like, it's not my face. So I'm just being honest with you. Next one is Midnight Cafe. Uh, the scent experience is the intoxicating mystery of midnight. It smells like creme de cafe, jasmine absolute, and patchouli. This is the gorgeous bottle. Beautiful purple, very gorgeous. Let's get into how it spray, sprays and then I'll tell you my thoughts on it. <sighs> so good. So immediately I'm detecting that cafe note. So like coffee freshness. So I guess it's the jasmine that I'm, that's making me uh, say freshness. I wouldn't detect jasmine if I didn't know. I would just say freshness. But that's the jasmine pulling through. And I don't really smell patchouli, which I, I'm glad I don't smell, uh, smell it because I'm not a fan of patchouli too much. 
but I can tell it's in the background, which is making it like more pun like a soft pungent, but in a great way. But this is a dupe to Black Opium, which I don't have. I'm surprised I don't have it because I really want that scent, but I have the Dossier version of it, which is uh, right here. So this is Ambery Vanilla. Um, it has notes of mandarin, pear, pink pepper, licorice, jasmine, orange blossom, cedar, patchouli, vanilla. So mostly, this smells like coffee, jasmine, and patchouli. And this pretty much has the same, but a little bit more fresh citrus notes in here. This is more deeper, I think, but let me see. Yeah, this is more lighter. Like, I think the, I can remember what the actual black opium smells and it's way stronger than both of these, but this does have that little, almost, no, this is almost like black opium. This is like third, like the second in, um, in line. Yeah, this is a lighter version of black opium and I would say this is more like it, but it's still lacking something in it, but it's really close. It does have that freshness, that soapiness. Oh no, I don't know. This is sneaking up. It's, it's smelling like similar to it. Mmm, this is good. It almost give, reminds me of Good Girl by Heron, Carolina Herrera, which is fruity almond, but it's different. But this has, um, I, does it have coffee? No. I don't know, it just makes me think of that because you know, sometimes Carolina Herrera smells like soapy in a way, but in a sexy way. Black Opium, if you're into this scent, definitely check this out because it is very similar. It's just a little, slightly different, um, maybe about 80% similar, I believe. I don't know, that's just uh, to my nose. Dossier is good, I like it. It's softer, like I said. So if you're not into that strong black opium, like the real deal, and it's just too much, this is a great option. But um, if you want something more in between, like smells really similar to it, like really close, definitely try out Midnight Cafe. All right, winding on down to the last two guys. This was one of the first ones that I was like, I must have, which was shocking. But this is Sunphoria. Sunphoria, I believe they said it's a due to Tom Ford. Tom Ford Soli. Soli or something like that. Um, but I have something that is very similar. I have two fragrances. The scent experience is Warmly Kissed by the Golden Sun. It smells like Manoe Blossom, Orange Flower, and Amberwood. Okay, so let's go into how it looks. Beautiful, deep ambery brown orange yeah maybe yeah something like that gorgeous just gorgeous love the love the uh, bottle guys i'm like loving all of these <laughs> all but maybe one mm -hmm. but let's get into it now i didn't like tom ford solely knows i didn't know what the heck i was smelling when i first when i tried that years ago and every, I was trying to understand why everyone lo loved that scent. This definitely reminds me of being at the beach. You detect that Manoe um, blossom. And Manoe is basically like a suntan lotion vibe. And that's exactly what I detect when I smell it. But then it has this soapiness, like just jumping out the shower, fresh out the shower aspect. And then it has some like vanilla in the background, which is not, am it's not vanilla, it's amber wood. But it is good, like. This is really good. I cannot wait to wear it, but it reminds me of Pink Sugar Creamy Sunshine. This is like way more dense, way more syrupy, way more in your face. It has tiara flower and manoe oil. Mm, I'm, this is the first time I'm about to truly say this, but it does have that pink sugar wow. DNA. Oh, wow. That's the first time I didn't think it smelled like pink sugar, but it does have that DNA of pink sugar. But it's still niche quality and different. These may be a, um, a great combination together, but I think it will be really strong. It will be a hitter, but definitely try this out if you have pink sugar, creamy sunshine with Sunphoria, or last but not least, I think it smells almost similar to Lancome, this La Nuit Nude. Okay, okay. This is more like coconut. Um, I can't think of all the notes. It's been a long time since I was, but it's so good. Mm, no, it's, this is different. It smells more similar to Creamy Sunshine. But this is so good. Definitely summertime appropriate type of scent. You can wear it springtime too. And honestly, this may be great in a, um, in this season right now, which is winter, because it's, it's almost cooling. It smells cold. And I believe 
if you wear this, it's gonna be like sitting in the cold and people will smell it. Like it's that sit and steal type of fragrance. Very gorgeous, definitely check it out. Sunphoria is one of my favorites. It's very different, I'm surprised I like it because I normally don't like fragrances like this. But I, as I'm getting, I guess, more trained to notes, my, my desires for fragrances is changing and I want different. All right, and last but not least, and then I have an honorable mention, this is I'm a Musk. And But when I saw that the title, I was like immediately drawn away. But I was like, let me just smell it because when I was smelling everything, everything was smelling great. But this scent experience claims to be blissfully floating through a daydream. It smells like fluffy musk, cotton blossom, and creamy sandalwood. So y'all know that this is probably trying to do Ariana Grande's Cloud um, or the Baccarat Rouge. I have all, I have like tons and tons of fragrances. I have the Dossier version, I have the Hour Yeah, I have a lot, because I love that, that scent profile. But this is the bottle, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. I feel like they should have put um, Sunphoria in here, so then it would really, really would have looked like Tom Ford, because this is giving me Tom Ford vibes. But anyway, this is I'm a Must. So yeah, definitely, it definitely reminds me of Ariana Grande but it's different at the same time. Like it has more of, what is this? It has more creamy sandalwood. That sandalwood is making it different. Here I have both versions of Ariana Grande. I have the original and the 2.0 version. So let's see. I wanna say it's more closer to this one. It also has this almost earthy green note to it like a fresh flower stem you know when you break a stem it smells fresh and almost robust in a way but, but then it dries down and i'm definitely detecting muskiness but it is similar to it's like a fluffy cloud like it like it stays hot it's the blossom it's the cotton blossom that's smelling really earthy and full or almost robust it is really good if you're um more into the earthy type of fluffiness and you're not so in love with this one definitely try out i'm a musk these will pair really well together. Let me see. Yeah, this will pair really well together. It also will pair well with um, Baccarat Rouge, any other Baccarat Rouge, Al Harmain version. If you want more sweetness, because it does have that, that, that blossom in it. Cotton blossom, which I said it, it pulls more green. I didn't smell this in the store. I'm actually detecting that for the first time tonight here on camera. Excuse me. But yeah, so if you're trying to get your uh, perfume, fragrance, or arsenal up, definitely get this whole line. If you're just starting your fragrance, um, if you're just starting out with fragrances, fragrances, damn, I can't talk. And you want to find a great collection that's affordable but still smell high end and last long, definitely go get this whole entire line or whatever you think is best. Because if you're starting out, you're not gonna like everything. But you gotta wait. But if you're already into fragrances. Please go get this line. It is so worth it. It's different. They have a different variety of everything. It's very affordable. So 200, maybe 250, 260 is better than one fragrance. And you have, that's your starter pack. Mm. Also, I went ahead and um, applied the Latoffer Rouge, which is a due to Baccarat Rouge, which is like $25. I applied it on top of here and it's definitely giving. It's giving Baccarat Rouge with Ariana Grande and a little muskiness and coconut blossom absolutely delicious like this is a vibe mm, i like it more with this it just makes it more sweeter in my opinion more candy like yeah that is all that i have from them but now i have one more and this is one that i didn't know i think it's new because i don't remember or recall seeing this it's called coffee cloud y'all hear that coffee cloud do you wonder why it's, um it says coffee cloud and i'm gonna tell you why but anyway the notes are bergamot espresso and cedarwood so this skin loving formula is packed with naturally derived ingredients that pair with non-GMO gluten-free alcohol base to heighten the senses. And yeah. Now I'm gonna tell you exactly what I thought about it after I sprayed it again, because me I thought I was tripping. Let me get into what this smells like. To me, you get this. I'm just gonna say it. It smells almost like the Baccarat Rouge Extrait the Extrait version which is something like this. Now, when you first spray it though, you don't get that. You get almost a candy metallic vibe with like a little hint of espresso. It's like it's transforming and transitioning as you spray almost it. Suntan lotion vibe is in a way, like a very, very slight hint of it. 
but then it starts uh, switching to being more creamy. It's like so many nuances in this fragrance. A little fresh, creamy, sweet. A little, a little tad bit hint of almost metallic notes, almost like Baccarat Rouge. But then in that dry down, I believe it transforms to something smelling like the extract version, which I really, really like. I love the extract version. It's really good. Um, if you're into the coffee, fresh, sweet type of scent, then definitely get it. I think it's not really necessary if you have all of these. I may take this back because I don't think it's, I don't think it's like, I, it's really good. Let me tell you. And it does, it did last. Let me take that back. I'm saying that now, but then I said that earlier when I first purchased it, but as the uh, the time progressed, the hours came by and went by, I kept whipping my hand. I was like, dang, I still smell it. And it, it, it was like intensifying. It was deep, syrupy, and delicious. Like I said, I just have so many fragrances, but this does have like a lot of nuances to other fragrances that, fragrances that I have. Almost pink sugar vibe as well. But this is really good. So if you're into scents like that, definitely check this out. If you're wanting to explore the Baccarat Rouge and you don't know where to start, this is a great one because it smells like it in my opinion. Cools, more slightly coffee, fresh vibe. I believe it will pair well with the um, I Am Us. So let's go ahead and wrap up this video. So my favorites out of the Finery line is Midnight Cafe because it's like really similar to Black Opium and I'm still smelling it. I'm still smelling on my arm. This is really good. Very sweet, soapy, coffee type of fragrance. Again, it smells like black opium, more so than the Dolce Avery. Um, my next one, this is not in no particular order. I'm just going over my favorites. The next one would be um, Magnetic Candy, uh, Sugar Violet, Pink Pearl Mellow, and Cotton Candy. This is a uh, neon, bright, fresh type of beachy carnival fragrance right here. So delicious, so fun. It is uplifting. I love this scent. It was a shocker, but this one is changing my mind. Flower bed. Um, when I smelled Chanel Chance, I did like it, but you know, like I said, I wasn't into the scent. It was really good though. Now I see why everybody likes this scent. If this is a dupe to it, but if the chance is, uh, if this is duping the chance, then I definitely recommend it. Um, it's a fresh, sweet green apple with wild bamboo leaf again, and it is so good. Sweet on the outside, which is, people said it smells similar to Billie Eilish or um, Nebras by La Tafa Gold, which is a due to uh, Billie Eilish. This is more creamier, I believe, than, than the actual um, Billie Eilish, but yes, it's very similar, but then it's, it has a little more smokiness, which is comparable to Bath and Body Works Bon Carter Bash, which these will pair really well together as well. So yeah, this is sweet on the outside. I love this. I love a sweet, smoky vanilla. Well, I just love a vanilla and this is sweet. Sunforia. Sunforia is Manoe Blossom, Orange Flower, Amber Wood. This really shocked me. Um, I'm no normally not into scents like that, but again, this is similar to Pink Sugar, uh, Creamy Sunshine. I like that scent. It is very, very sweet. <laughs> This is a less version of it, less weak, less getting on your nerve, more adult-like in my opinion. Yeah, this is really good. I cannot wait to wear this and I'm shocked that I like this one, but this is one of the first ones that I had to get like when I first smelled everything. This is the one. Now, I'm gonna kind of leave the least, least literally for the last, but this one, I've messed up the cap, but this is not another cherry. This is absolutely delicious. Let me hurry up and wear this out before the season change. If you want a good combo, Please pair it with anything Baccarat Rouge related. Baby, you talking about, I have a dual version. I have the Pop Cherry, but I have a dual version of Pop Cherry and Baccarat combined. And I'm on like probably halfway just like this. Tons of compliments. That, that is a compliment getter. Tom, if you have the real Tom Ford Lost Cherry and Baccarat, that's a compliment getter. This is a compliment getter. Definitely try it out. So I love this because why not? Um, lastly, literally the least ones. Um, I am a musk. This is really nice. It does have that cotton blossom. I didn't really smell that at first, um, but I detect it more now. It's nice. Um, I did like it in the store more than what I'm liking at home. Maybe it will change, but so far it is nice. It's more creamy sandalwood. It's more of a coconut blossom, creamy sandalwood, and a little fluffy musk. Yeah, like I literally smell everything that it states. Oh shoot, I forgot this one. Uh, before the rainbow. 
beautiful aquatic. Yeah, this is not the least. I like this too, but this is more of an aquatic salt with a mossy aspect. Very delicious. Like I said, it pairs really well with Olympia. So definitely try that out. And then the last and least one that is, is, is still good, but it's not my favorite. Not yet. But um, Jungle Santal, which is a due to uh, a Labo Santal vanilla, whatever, whatever the hell the name is. I don't know. It's supposed to be a vanilla scent. This is very green, very woody. Definitely uh, herbal, and um, you definitely detect that cardamom. Very unisex, in my opinion. So if you're into scents like this, definitely check that out. And that is all that I have, guys. Totally recommend this whole entire line. If you're just starting out your fragrance collection or if you want to add on, I think every last one of them is worth it. Best money splurge that I've done. Like, I felt a little guilty buying all of them, but I don't anymore because it is worthy. I may or may not take one or two back. I mean, I don't know. T things may change in the future, but this is like my first impression. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to this channel. Drop down in the comments and let me know which one you think you may get. And without further ado, I will see you all later. Bye.